So here we have the Volkswagen Up, the uh, one litre move up version on a 15 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see that it's a three door car. We're going to start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of it from there. Given the overall size of the car, the boot space is actually very good and I'll, uh, I'll show you that in just a moment. You can see it's got a 60-40 split folding rear seat. This tray will lift out and remove entirely from the car and makes the boot much, much deeper than it would appear from the outside. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see that it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. These seats are as good as new. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. On the right-hand side, the fuel gauge. And then in the middle, we've got the speedometer for the car. If we press this button down here, we can go through the various different bits of trip computer information. And you can see the total miles are being displayed there. They are 14,234, so a very low mileage car for three years old. If we work over into the center console area here, at the top you can see we've got air conditioning. So we can adjust the temperature, fan speed, and then the direction of the air with that dial. Once we've done all of that, hit that button there to turn the air conditioning on and back off again. And then we've got a rear heated screen and the hazard uh, warning lights button just there as well. Below that, we've got the stereo for the car. So when it comes to the radio, first of all, this car's got DAB, FM, and AM radio. You can switch between them by pressing the radio button. And then once you've found uh, a frequency, if you like, that you want to uh, listen to, you've then got all the different preset stations you can save along the bottom, just here. And then you've got volume over on the right-hand side. When it comes to media, we have a CD player, just there and an auxiliary input uh, to the right-hand side of the unit. Under that, we've got uh, plenty of storage. Cup holder just down here. This folds out to hold the cup in place. This is the tire deflation warning uh, system button. So uh, you can, if you, for example, wanted to uh, deflate the tires for whatever reason, you can reset the limit for the tires by pressing that button. And if the air level drops in any of those tyres beyond that limit, the car will warn you so that you uh, you know you've got a puncture. We've then got a 12 volt charging socket underneath there for your phone or satellite navigation and a five speed manual gearbox. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.